Back to the Future Onto Tales and Alternate Timelines number three. Now it's taken me a while to finally get back into reading this comic. I just haven't really had a chance to sit down since really last year, it turns into last year. So I finished the first half of this a couple days ago and I finished the second story earlier today. It's like probably ten minutes ago. And I really like this one. It was very interesting because this one especially the first story. The first story was very interesting because it kind of changed the way I, I've seen some of the characters from the films. Mainly, um, you know, Marty's parents. We have George, who <laughs> is typically this very shy sort of character, and he was kind of the opposite. In this, he was very angry, and he was somewhat egotistical and stuff like that. And it was very interesting seeing that happen. And then we have Lorraine, who's um, a bit angry, and they're having you know, issues uh, with the relationship and stuff, and they feel they need Marty. And I don't want to go, you know, too much further into that because I don't want to spoil anything. But I thought it was really weird seeing these characters this way because they're, they're, they're movie, you know, counterparts. You know, we have three films, and it, no matter, you know, the time period, they're typically kind of the same. And it was just so weird seeing them in this way, but I thought it was very cool. It was very interesting for sure. And then the second story was very funny to me and it was very short the second story was actually super short in this one but i thought it was really cool i was like this is actually pretty awesome and i won't give too much away because it's so short it would kind of give away the whole thing because there's not like you know a lot to it it's really just like a couple of little pages and you know that's pretty much it but as always i enjoyed both stories um in the end of this comic, they actually say that the comic book is not going to be a monthly thing. So, I have to catch up. I am about... Uh, it came out in October, November, December. So, I'm a month behind. Probably two at this point, because it depends on when they actually come out, if they come out the 21st. And I mentioned that before, because uh, the 21st just happened to be on that Wednesday. So, whatever week lies on the 21st, I guess, will be that week for uh, the, the comic. So... They should be up to five right now, so I'm very very excited to get number four very soon. Uh, number five should be coming out very soon as well, so I might just wait and end up getting both of them at the same time. But either way, I really enjoyed this. I'm I was I was super happy to reread that. It was just like by overwhelming demand. Um, it's going to be a monthly comic from now on. So this will be like the one series I actually buy. I have like my two comic series that I buy. It's going to be Back to the Future, which I'll actually do monthly, uh, which is very awesome. I'm glad that it's monthly and not weekly, and mostly because, you know, money, to be totally honest. But also it gives them time to develop. Like, they do it once a month, and it'll allow them to say, like, all right, this is a story we want to tell. It gives them, you know, 30 or so days you know, outside of February. It gives them about 30 solid days to say, this is what we want to do. And this is a story, or this, you know, this is a question that people have always had. This is one that we can answer. And then here's a, just a brand new story that we can, you know, make up for the timeline. And I think that's really cool. It's good. It doesn't force them to go, you know, because it's not an ongoing story. Every single um, issue so far has been, here's a story, you know, here's an answer, basically, as to how this happened. And then... Here's just a random story, you know, and this one, um, the second story in this one actually fit in with the films. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. So I was very excited to read that. It's going to be continuing on monthly from, you know, from back then, which was December, the third issue. So from December, monthly issue. So um, this will, th you know, this month, which is February, end of February almost, this will be the first issue because I do believe it was only meant to be four uh, to begin with, but... Now it's just going to be going on monthly, so I'm I'm very excited to see that continue on. I'm curious to see how long it's going to go on for, and hopefully uh, when it ends, it's not because, you know, of lackluster sales. It'll end because they feel they've told every possible story without, you know, going beyond. I don't know if they would ever go beyond, you know, Doc and Marty. It's, you know, it's back to the future. So I don't know if they'd ever truly go beyond that, but there's definitely some stuff that they can do because, of course... With the way the third film ended, Doc goes into the future. And I believe I mentioned this before, but with the Back to the Future game, that takes place after the films. And that's basically a fourth film, and they go to, like, the 1920s and stuff. And there's, you know, more alternate timelines and all this other stuff. 
And they could, you know, kind of talk about that. And they could go back into 2015 and we see the new version of Marty since he didn't have the accident with the car and stuff like that. We can see how his future um, ends up turning out son's, you know, arm, you know, broken or whatever where he couldn't, you know, play the guitar anymore. So I'm really excited to see where they take this for sure. Definitely enjoyed this one. As usual, I highly recommend it. Oh, of course, I wore my Back to the Future shirt just for this review because it was actually clean. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to getting issue number four and five. I have to get issue number one again because I have, like, the special cover for that one instead of this cover, which is, like, a big picture that goes across all of them. And I'm assuming it continues in this because it looks like it kind of cuts off right here for this issue. So I think the first four will be one solid picture. And then after that, I was, I'm curious what they're going to do as well. Because I don't think they'll just start making, you know, parts of the picture. Because it was supposed to just be, you know, one through four. So I have to get the first one again so I can have like a whole spread picture across. But I'm really looking forward to getting four and five. Very glad to see that it's going to be a monthly thing from now on. And it'll be one of the few things I support. So I'm going to have my Back to the Future. And the only other thing, because I didn't mention the other comic, is actually The Walking Dead. Which... I only buy, like, in the giant compendium versions, so that's only, like, every two years. I just wait until I get the giant 96-issue thing. But Back to the Future, I will rush out and get anything Back to the Future. I plan on getting the Back to the Future uh, card game, because that's already out. So I plan on looking that up, and if as long as it's entertaining, I'll definitely be getting that, and I'll probably be putting a video of that up on the channel. Um, that probably wouldn't be for a couple of months, though, because I have to actually look up some stuff first because I just really looked into it because it just recently came out but looking forward to getting that game looking forward to years of this comic to be totally honest I want this to go on for a very long time but definitely want to know what you guys thought about the comic if you've read it so please comment below let me know your favorite parts about it your least favorite parts about it um, of course if you haven't gotten the comic just yet I like I said I highly recommend it you could of course wait I assume just because it's a comic Eventually, there's going to be a, you know, Back to the Future Volume 1 sort of deal, and you can have a bunch of issues all together, but I think it's great. I think they're really fun stories. If you're a huge fan like I am, then you kind of can't be disappointed by it. They answer great questions, and then they just give random cool stories, so once again, I love it. I'm... I haven't really gotten into this yet, but I, I'll probably be doing um, actual like spoiler videos talking about the specifics of each comic book, and I might start doing that before I get the next comic and do my normal review of that, or it might end up being after. I'm not 100% sure, but I will be going back through um, these first three issues, or every issue, really. I'll be doing a normal review and then sort of like a spoiler um, talk about it because, you know, it's really fun. I might just start doing like my normal reviews where I just talk about what's in it, but I feel like because it's a comic, it's not as easy for people. Like with a TV show, you can talk about it. It's like, okay, someone saw the episode. Very simple. But when it comes to comics, it's like they might not have been able to, you know, really read it yet. And I don't want to spoil that in case anyone, for whatever reason, is watching my review before they read the comic. I don't want to do that just in case because, you know, Comics aren't as simple to get because we do actually have to pay for them in a different way. It's a more immediate type of thing compared to, you know, cable monthly or, you know, something like that. But, you know, I'll probably be doing that, talking about, um, you know, the specifics that they go into and talking about what I want to see specifically from future issues of the comics. But I'll be getting that at some point. Don't know really when, but I do plan on doing that for sure. But thanks for checking this out. Like I said, if you guys have any comments on the comic, um, please put them down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.